So one example I love, I feel like it's so easy to apply it to health. So if you ate a Snickers bar every day, what would your life look like after a year? It probably wouldn't look that great. I mean, right. you'd probably put on some weight. Absolutely. So it's about 215 calories a day. Yeah. So that's 1500 calories a week. Right. It's about 1.85 pounds a month. About 22 and a half pounds a year. I think after a year, you would notice the difference. Absolutely. But if you think about it another way, if you found a way to work out and burn 200 calories a day, mm -hmm. what could that lead to? Right. Losing 22 pounds a year. I mean, in theory, I know health, it's not exactly right. translated right. that way. But but if you maintained in your caloric intake and burn was the exact same every day, that could look like that. Absolutely. Yeah, now I really want a Snickers bar, <laughs> but I really don't want to. But that's 22 and a half pounds. <laughs> I don't want to look back at the end of 12 months from now and be flabbier and say it was because of a of a thing that took five minutes a day to do. Right. It was super easy to and do. And you probably were like, I know when I eat food, I'm like, mm, let me eat this. Oh, wait, yeah. I needed to go do this. And you're not even like enjoying it. No, it's just this secondary thing. You're not even hungry. Right. And at it the end of it, habit. yeah, it's just habit. Right. So what if you replace that, like you said, with some type of exercise? Like maybe it's just you get out of bed each morning and then you just lay on the floor and, and you stretch yeah. and then you do some bicycle kicks. Right. Or you do, you know, 20 sit ups and some push ups. Absolutely. You know, the. I know uh, you wouldn't do that, but. <laughs> the, the Fitbit 10 minutes till the hour alarm, it's really funny. Like, if we haven't been active, we're both like, what's. Oh, it's. Yep. 10 I, call minutes. It, I call it the fatty alarm where it's like, I need to get up and move. Yep. But it's like, you're supposed to hit 200 steps, I think it is. I don't know. I it's think not it a lot. I think it depends on your target. Okay, you can change but, it, yeah. but it's Mine's not like... a huge target. But like, they want you moving every hour, That's so right. you're just getting that that action, and yeah. it makes a huge difference on your, your well life. your your analogy with the Snickers bar is so incredibly relevant because everyone on this planet has probably well, maybe not on the planet, but most people have probably had a Snickers bar. Most people in the U.S. Most people in the U.S. have probably had a Snickers bar yeah, and understand that it is probably easy to eat a Snickers oh, bar. Oh, yeah. Those and... Snickers ice creams are my... <laughs> Dangerous. Yeah. Let's not go into the fact that you didn't even know they were in the freezer. Yeah. You know, <laughs> life's been hectic. I thought I ordered them from Kroger. I did not. Then I thought I ordered them on the next round, and I guess I did, and then I put them up. And you're like, do you want one of these? And I was like, wait, I actually got them. <laughs> right. And I've eaten half back. <laughs> it's okay. It's all right. No judgment here. Okay. I, I know you've been through hell and a half. I'll probably eat one tonight and it's going to be delicious. That's and I'm going right. to be intentional while I eat it though. That's right. You're going to intentionally it. add one Snickers bar yes. to your caloric intake. And it's probably today. more than the 215 calories. But, yeah, there ice, ice there's ice cream. That's so good. Anyways. Right. So, you know, this really applies to everything you do. Right. You know, it applies to fitness, obviously, because we just came out of the Snickers conversation and gaining weight and all right. that. But it can also let's, you know, talk about how this daily action can lead to these massive changes in your life, like in your work. Like, let's say you're a mechanic. And you know that you work on certain kind of vehicles all the time. If you did the daily action of getting the manual or the Haynes manual or some type of workbook to help you understand the things that are commonly wrong with these vehicles, you could probably cut your time working on these cars down in half if you spent 10 minutes a day reading toward it. Or let's say you're an analyst, you know, at some kind of yeah, business. Yeah, I, I can tell you because you're talking to me. Yep, you're an analyst. I had mentors early on in my career show me some excel shortcuts that save me so much time now i mean you've seen me work an excel sheet it's like it's annoying like magic it's annoying how fast it's annoying I to me but and not not annoying i'm like annoyed that it takes me so long to do it but watching you it's like you're a wizard <laughs> right right <laughs> Can, but it's these little tricks that i learned early in my career that mm -hmm. You know, Alt ESV gets you the keyboard shortcut for pasting. Like, that makes no sense. Right. To me. But to somebody that knows Excel, like, yeah, that makes sense. Or if you're in sheets, control shift B, like keyboard shortcuts make all the difference. Let's paste values. That sounds 
like I know, but hoopla. <laughs> if you could streamline things in your job, that would free up time for you to read a book. Yeah. Imagine that compounding. And it's it's scaffolding. It's scaffolded. It scaffolds. There, it doesn't scaffold it. Is. <laughs> <laughs> it scaffolds. What do you mean? Because let's say you do something that makes your job a little easier. Right. And you get more successful at your job. Right. That has now opened up time. That has now opened up space. And what you fill in that space with is very important. Absolutely. And you fill in that space with something that gets you ahead in another part of your life. You know, let's talk yeah. about the, you know, the wheel of life. And we talk about, if you don't know what the wheel of life is, send us an email. We'll, we'll send you what the wheel of life is. But you are lacking in this, you know, let's say the family portion of your life. If you're able to save hours at work from... Or 10 minutes. Or 10 minutes. And that 10 minutes, you can use it to send, you know, let's say little sweet messages to your wife. Or, or... put a note in your kid's lunchbox. Yes. You write that note in that 10 minutes. Yeah. And you stick it in their lunchbox the next, that night. Like, yeah, and then what happens there is it, it's great because you have now added to another section of your circle of life. Absolutely. And then what does that do for that other person that you're adding to their life? Right. They're now added to, they're now feeling better and encouraged and empowered. And they're going to start showing up for you in other ways, yeah. which, oh my gosh, we could go down this right. whole rabbit hole of they now give you more of their time, which frees up even more of your time. Right. I it think just, it, all of that boils down to why we do this podcast. That's right. Because at the end of the day, if we can help somebody make their life better and get them financial freedom, mm -hmm. then they can pursue passion projects that will make the world a better place. Right. And it's